So the question is, is what are name servers in regards to DNS? So you've gone to a domain registrar, you've purchased your domain name, such as failnormal.com, geekfieldnotes.com, whatever domain name it is, and you go in and you look at the different configurations, and you see the A records, you see the C names, you see the MX records. One of the configurations that you will see is you will see the name servers, and you may wonder if you should go and you should change those for any reason. Now, in general, you shouldn't change the name servers unless you know why you're changing the name servers. All the name servers are, are these are the servers where your DNS information is actually stored so that it's accessible by the internet. So basically, when people go and they try to resolve failnormal.com to an IP address, the name servers is where all that information is. So the A records, the C names, the MX records, all of that, you go to your domain registrar, you plug in all the information, all the configuration information, and then when, you're get, when you get done and you click save, all of that information is then sent to those name servers and then that information is replicated out to the other name servers. So all the name servers are is they are the DNS servers that actually contain your information and are accessible by the internet. Now there are very few reasons why you would want to change your name servers, but you are able to. So uh, you, you're able to plug in two name servers. So whenever you go and you look at the configurations, you'll see you can put in two name servers. And generally those name servers will al already be provided to by your ISP. So if you're using GoDad or your HostGator or whoever else, you will buy your domain name. When you go into the DNS manager to change configurations, you will already see those name servers there and generally you don't change them. Now, there are reasons that you would change those name servers in particular instances. One of the reasons you might change those name servers is if you are using some kind of cloud service provider that requires you to change those name servers. So, so most of the time, whenever you're going to be using some kind of cloud-based service, you can point a C name or you can point an A record to that service, and that, that's all you need to do in order to make sure the DNS runs properly. Some of the modern cloud cloud infrastructure requires that you use their name servers. So you may use GoDaddy uh, to purchase your domain name, but then use one and one or you may use some other cloud provider to actually uh, provide your infrastructure services. Now, depending on who you use and, and what you're using, they may require you to use their name servers instead of the name servers that you normally use with your ISP. So all you do in that situation is you look through the instructions, uh, whatever company you're using, whatever vendor you're using will tell you the name servers that you have to use. Then you go back to the DNS manager for your domain registrar, you plug in those name servers, you hit save, and up to 24 hours later, everything should work properly. So the first reason that you would use different name servers if, if you were simply required to by whatever cloud-based services that you're using. The other reason you might use name service servers is if you are big enough and you have enough of a technical staff that it actually makes sense. Again, when we're talking about name servers, these are real servers. Um, and as such, they can be configured and they can be tweaked based off of what you actually need as a company. Now, to be clear, if you're running a WordPress site, if you're running a, a marginally successful business, you don't need to worry about new name servers. But if you're Facebook, if you're Google, if you're YouTube, if you are Instagram, if you're something like that, you may have enough of an interest in the engineering component that you want to build your own name servers so that they do name name resolution in particular ways. So per, uh, perchance if you want things done based off of geography. So if you have different different people trying to grab your, your DNS information and they're coming from different areas, you may want to be able to dynamically change how the information is presented to them. Basically, you may want to be looking for these uh, these more specific things. And again, but this is at the point when you're hi hiring coders literally to work full time just to, to figure out the DNS and to figure out how this infrastructure is supposed to work. So by and large, you do not change your name servers. The only times that, that most people will is if they're using some kind a cloud service provider. They Again, they decide to start using some kind of web hosting solution or something else where they require you change the name server. At that point, all you do is you see what name servers you're supposed to change it to. 
You go change your name server, you click save, you, you wait for it to replicate out. Now you will notice that for information, whenever you add information to your DNS records, it may take up to 24 hours for that information to be fully within the DNS system. And the reason for that is because there are, there, there are hundreds or thousands maybe tens of thousands, I suppose, uh, of DNS servers out there. So when you add your information to the name servers, you, that information gets replicated out through the DNS infrastructure. And so it can take time for all that information to be replicated out to all of the places that it needs to be replicated out. So that's why they say whenever you change your configurations to wait up to 24 hours, now in the modern world, it should take nowhere near 24 hours. It should take an hour or two at most. But theoretically, with however that replication strategy is, uh, it may take up to 24 hours. And that's simply because with the DNS servers, these are database servers. They, they share their information through a replication strategy. And however that replication strategy is set up, it may take a little bit of, of time for the information to be replicated to all of the different servers. So that's what named servers are, and that's why they matter.